it's been expressed that there are the holes in the account of how the Quran is compiled. You might call that black hole, whatever hole you call, but there are holes in the traditional account of how the Quran is compiled. It's not only holes, also there were fights in the time of Muhammad. How many versions of the Quran revealed to? We, we've got a very famous story between Umar and Hisham, where Caliph Umar wants to grab Hisham from his neck while he's praying because he's reciting different version of the surah. It doesn't stop there, of course. Ubay bin Kaab, man whom Muslim needs to take the Quran from, has a doubt regarding the different versions of the Quran. What happens is, Muhammad beats him. Muhammad uh, struck him in his chest, which caused him to sweat. Let's hear Sheikh Yasir Qadir. The preservation of the Ahruf, is it one, is it three, is it seven? And the relationship of the Qira'at to the Ahruf. This is a topic that when you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. And you don't fully comprehend. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. And this isn't new. This is from the time of the Sahaba. In the Sahih or the Hassan Hadith of Ubay bin Ka'b, the Hadith of the Ahruf, that when the Prophet mentioned the issue of Ahruf, and that there are different Ahruf and whatnot, this is in the version of Muslim Imam Ahmad, Ubay bin Ka'b says, authentic Hadith, فَدَخَلَ فِي نَفْسِي شَكْ In my heart, a doubt came that I hadn't had about Islam since the days of Jahiliyyah. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. The issue of Ahruf and Qira'at caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Ubay is not some even average Sahabi. He is the Qari of the Quran. He is the master. He is who he is. And he goes, Fadakhal fi nafsi shak. Like, what is all of this stuff? And the Prophet, the Prophet put, it, yeah. put his hand and then he goes, ha, it all went away. Ya khi, me and you, yeah. we don't have that blessing, do we? Ubay bin Kaab is the master of the Quran, yet he had the doubts regarding the different versions of the Quran. Let me take you to Hadith and then we want to see, actually, did Muhammad put his hand on his chest so that all doubt went away? Or Muhammad struck him in his chest, which caused him to sweat? Please do follow with me. First, I'm going to look at Sahih Muslim version. Sahih Muslim, and you can see it is put together by sunnah.com, not by me. It is put together by sunnah.com. It is translated by them, identified as Sahih. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 828. You can read the full hadith. I'm just going to focus on the parts where I think it needs our attention. Ubay bin Kaab reported, remember, according to Muslim scholars and sheikhs, Ubay bin Kaab is the master of the Quran. I was in the mosque when a man entered and prayed and recited the Quran in a style to which I objected. Then another man entered and recited in a style different from, from that of his companion. Two people are reciting Quran differently. When we had finished the prayer, we all went to Allah's messenger and say to him, this man is reciting in a different style. And then it goes on. And what Muhammad says, please, Muhammad wants to hear recitation and then messenger of Allah uh, asked them to recite. So they recited and messenger of Allah expressed approval of their affair and there occurred in my mind a sort of, sort of denial which did not occur even during the days of ignorance. 
when Muhammad said okay to those different variations, Ubay bin Kaab, the master of the Quran, had a denial which he didn't have, denial in his mind which he didn't even had in the time of Jahiliyyah, time of ignorance. When the Messenger of Allah saw how I was affected, he struck my chest, whereupon I broke into sweating and felt as though I were looking at Allah with fear. Muhammad struck Ubay bin Kaab because Muhammad noticed master of the Quran probably just picked up something which shouldn't happening. Muhammad is giving permission to different versions of the Quran that is causing doubt in the mind of Ubay bin Kaab. Muhammad strikes him, not put his hand in, puts his hand in his chest, but strikes him in the chest which cause him to sweat and if he fear of he has the fear of Allah. Let's please do follow me. Let me bring you another narration. You can see the Arabic version on one side and English translation on the other side. Narrated Sulaiman ibn Sard that Ubay bin Kaab come to the Prophet with two men who differed in the Quran. Each one of them saying, the Messenger of Allah recited to me. So, Prophet, Prophet made, the, made both of them to recite, saying to each of them, you did well. Muhammad says, okay, to the version of the Quran he is listening. Ubay bin Kaab said, so doubt entered my heart more intensely than I was in Jahiliya, pre-Islamic time. So, the Messenger of Allah struck me in my chest and said, O oh Allah, make Satan depart from him. So, he, Ubay bin Kab, I sweated profusely as if I am looking at Allah. And you can see in the red, which is Arabic is in the red box, it is expressed. The Prophet struck him in chest and said, knowledge has humiliated you. According to Islamic sheikhs, according to Islamic Dawatim, yes, there is some, there is big holes in the, in the traditional account of how the Quran is compiled in the traditional account of Islam as well. There is big confusion. The versions of the Quran is revealed to Muhammad. Companions of Muhammad had that com confusion and Ubay bin Kaab, the master of the Quran, according to Islamic Dawatim and Muslim sheikhs, had a doubt in his mind regarding how Muhammad was giving okay to the different versions of the Quran which is revealed to him. Sad reality is, the way Muhammad simply get away with this, just strike Ubay bin Kaab in his chest, which causes him to sweat. And that's the Ubay bin Kaab, master of the Quran. Get, go, his doubts in his mind goes away. Why? Because he just got beaten by Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. It is a wonderful so story. It has holes, it has fights, it has unkind thoughts, it has strikes, and then today it gives us something which Muslims simply tells us. We don't know what Ahruf is. That means we don't know how many, how many versions of the Quran revealed to Muhammad? We don't know what were those versions. Welcome to the world of Islam.